Today's video is all about this little guy right here, the Polaroid Go. The Polaroid Go is Polaroid's newest and smallest instant camera. Due to its small size, it seems to be marketed as a portable camera that makes it easy to spontaneously use, so I decided to bring it with me on a few trips to Universal Studios Hollywood to try that out. As if its chocolate chip size stature wasn't enough of a selling point for you, this camera has a few built-in features as well, such as a self-timer, flash override, reflective glass meant to help while taking selfies, and even the ability to do double exposures. Now immediately I was impressed with the color and clarity of the photos after they had developed. Even in varying lighting situations, I feel like I haven't gotten a bad shot out of this camera so far. The price point for the film for this camera is worth talking about as well. Film for the Polaroid Go is currently only sold in double packs at $19.99 for a total of 16 shots, while a single pack of Polaroid 600 film sells for about $18.99 for only 8 shots. Now, while I enjoy the classic Polaroid 600 film format and to each their own, but it does make me feel a lot of pressure when I'm using the Polaroid 600 film because it is pretty pricey for only 8 shots. And I noticed that with the Polaroid Go, I didn't feel that same pressure. I didn't hesitate when it came to if I wanted to take a photo or not. In fact, I took three photos of Blue the dinosaur without hesitation or a second thought and I'm glad that I did because I'm really happy with the way each one came out and I'm happy that I didn't have to think or worry about how much film I had left or if either of the shots was going to be worth it. Overall, I did have a lot of fun using this camera and it was very easy to carry around all day just by leaving it strapped around my wrist, which I honestly feel like did help me use the camera camera more spontaneously just as it was marketed. If you're someone looking for an easy, reliable instant camera or someone like me who wants the thrill of getting a new camera but doesn't need it taking up any more space in their bag or in their life really, or if you're looking for a gift for someone, I think the Polaroid Go is definitely worth the price. So I think he said it's the production store. Oh my god, hang on. Wow. We're here to get some cups and other things and posters. But, um, went on the dinosaur ride. Saw the dinosaurs. You saw animals. dinosaurs? How did you like the dinosaurs? I really liked meeting Blue. The ride was a little intense on my body. But <laughs> it's okay. Coin. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video of me trying to figure out if buying the Polaroid Go spontaneously was a regret or not. 
it was not, so that's great. Um, also, I got harassed in the streets by a bunny for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Did you notice that the, the things in the back is all pet snacks? Yes. Are you the pet snack queen? I love pets. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Yes. Wait, well, you guys got a permit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you, you come bring me that permit. Let me see. Let, let me get it. Well, they actually got a permit. <laughs> this is not just a shot. This is a pass. This is brown behavior for models. You bring out your COVID vaccination card. <laughs>